Kath Bashworth. I'm the ecologist for Forestry England, Yorkshire Forest District, and I'm the project manager for the Yorkshire Beaver Trial. In April 2019, two beavers from Tayside in Scotland were released into a secure 10 hectare enclosure in Cropton Forest as part of a five year trial licensed by Natural England. The enclosure is situated in the River Severn catchment and it includes 824 metres of beck and two old fish ponds dating from the late 1800s. The fish ponds were shaded and overgrown with willow scrub and held little water. The remaining habitat includes conifers planted close to the river banks and more open birch and mixed pine and beech woodland. The Beck's waters rise and fall very rapidly here and it was part of the Slowing the Flow project which started in 2007, which used man-made woody dams in stream to reduce peak flow during storm events in an effort to reduce flooding in Pickering and Sinnington. This trial is a follow on from the Slowing the Flow project and the main aim is to see if the beavers will adopt and maintain these structures on our behalf or whether their own dams will have the same impact. The other aims are to study the impact beaver have on biodiversity in the riparian corridor. Over 40 volunteers have put in over 500 hours creating a fantastic baseline of information on the wildlife present. This will be monitored over the five years of the trial. Several academic institutes are also assisting with further monitoring, including hydrological and water quality monitoring, laser scanning and eDNA surveying. The two beavers quickly made the site their home and began to demonstrate what fantastic ecosystem engineers these creatures are. They set to work straight away plugging the leaks in the top pond and damming the bottom pond to raise the water levels by over a metre. Beavers move much more efficiently in water than on land they are perfectly designed for a semi-aquatic lifestyle with their paddle tail, webbed feet and thick insulating fur coat and their see-through eyelid which allows them vision underwater. They feel less threatened from predation when in the water and although they have no natural predators in the UK, this is an inbuilt instinct. Raising the water levels gave them easier and safer access around the site. Their work resulted in a record number of amphibians in the ponds before the beavers were released, just six clumps of spawn were recorded, whilst in 2020 the amount of spawn was uncountable. And because of this number of frogs and toads, over 12 herons were regularly seen fishing around the pond, and both otters and tawny owls have been caught on camera feasting on the amphibians. Beavers are completely herbivorous, feeding on aquatic plants, grasses and shrubs during the summer months, with woody plants making up most of their diet in winter. Their large front teeth never stop growing, and are naturally reinforced with iron to enable them to fell trees with ease. The Cropton beavers have coppiced many of the trees overhanging the pond, opening up to more light. In addition to their work on the pond, the beavers have built a large dam in the river, which is now almost two metres tall. The dam is made from logs, sticks and stones, and is packed with earth, silt and leaves. Some of the willow sticks used in the dam have begun to grow to make it into a living structure, and they've transplanted irises all along the top. As these plants grow, their roots will help to reinforce the dam. The dam has significantly raised water levels upstream and enabled them to burrow into the banks to create an underwater entrance into their lodge, which they have constructed on the river bank. They have since extended the dam across the floodplain to connect the pond with the river, and they've built up the bottom pond edge by 30 centimetres along its whole 60 metre length to hold back even more water significantly changing the way that the water moves through the site. Now water is forced out across the floodplain in periods of heavy rain instead of rushing down the river channel, resulting in a multi-braided watercourse which effectively slows the flow. Early results from Exeter University's monitoring show that the beaver structures do indeed seem to be helping to reduce the peak of water flow through the site, although it's still too early in the project to be conclusive. These aerials show the increase in water stored on the site since the trial started. The beavers had two kits in 2019, which have both grown amazingly well and are assisting the adults with their habitat amendments. Footage captured in June 2020 showed two new arrivals, so now there are six beavers within the enclosure. In nature, kits stay with the family group for at least two years and help to raise subsequent years kits. Before the release, the enclosure was assessed as being suitable for 12 to 15 beavers due to the varied nature of the site and the resources available. This is being monitored annually. 
As the kits from 2019 grow, we will care be carefully watching the group dynamics to ascertain whether they will be able to stay as a large extended family group or colony, or whether they will need to be relocated to another site. It's early days of the trial yet, but initial monitoring results are very encouraging, with an increase in wildlife being recorded and a reduction of peak water flow through the site.